Hello, hello, hello. It is Pip here from QueenPipCards.com and today it is my Moody Monday pick me up. We're going to be talking kits, we're going to be talking coordination, we're going to be talking about lots and lots of different stuff. So here are the, here are two of the cards that I'm going to be sharing with you today. Just seeing, do I need to get any extra light down here? It's a bit, it's okay I think, we're going to be okay. Good. So we're also going to be talking about this kit. Um, so that's the first kit, this kit, and then we're going to be talking a little bit about, let me just do this, where is it, where's it gone, there it is, oh, I'm going to be sharing something along the lines of this, hi Claire, nice to see you here, so if I, I'm going to just do a few like, oh look at those, aren't they pretty, and umbrellas, I've got them all here. I'm going to share it with you all in a minute. So, what should we start with? Let's start with the coordination and then we'll go on kits because I'm going to stamp with the kits. I'm just going to show you some coordination. So, hi Linda. Okay. So, the coordination stuff is this. Did I show you this last week? I think I might have shown it to you last week, but not very well or not properly anyway. So, I'm going to share it with you properly. So, hi Jan. Nice to see you. Good afternoon. So, here's the first one hearts. Okay, and this coordinates with the heart punches um, from the heartfelt bundle. Then, oh, I've got tulips everywhere. Bear with me. Then we've got the brollies upside down. There we go. So the brollies obviously um, coordinate with the my umbrella, and you get three of each sheet. So we've got more brollies, more hearts. What else we got here? Oh, well, then we've got flowers, and these coordinate with the small flower punch that's in the celebration offering. Okay, so you get a punch for free uh, and you can buy the papers and they match. And then we've got tulips. So these obviously match the tulip builder. So I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about this to start off with. This isn't available today, but it is available next week. Um, so it's kind of a sneak peek. It's coming out. And where's the card I did? Oh, I've lost it. Hold on. Oh, I had a thought over the weekend i was doing lots look i've got masses and masses and masses of designing stuff in there <laughs> oh, that's a sneak peek that's what you're going to see however i did do here we go so i wondered if the umbrella would fit with beautiful you and the answer is kind of yeah it does so it's a little bigger than the umbrella on beautiful you because that's sort of there-ish but it is yeah, I think it fits okay. She looks like she's in having it's a sun it's a sun brolly rather than a rain brolly, which is why I put the hello sunshine on as the um as the sentiment there. But I think you could get away with that. I think that gives you a whole new range of things that you can do with your beautiful you stamp set when you add it with the umbrella stamp set under my umbrella stamp set. So that's good. And obviously then that coordinates with this paper, so you could change you could change her out and have a purple dotty one you could change her out and she could have a rainbow one you know just lots of different ideas that you could have and you don't have to stamp these you can just punch them out of the papers so Alison and Chris that's for you hi Jules how are you oh yeah they're okay thank you very much yeah my parents both decided to have a tumble together in the bathroom on Sunday morning it's fantastic so um but thankfully they're in the right place so they got the they got the help they needed immediately the paramedics came out and were absolutely fantastic as our paramedics around here always are and um yeah sorted them out they gave them a clean bill of health so they're fine so that's good but i went over obviously to see them and make sure they were okay but they they seem to be okay so that's good um but they're going to get the doctor out just to check this week make sure they're okay continuing to be okay okay so there we go so there's the umbrella and see it punches like that lovely nice eat quick and easy but that's not that just make sure you get all the bits out you don't want jamming your punches um but there are other pieces on here so there are these pieces so this is this is like um the, the half closed brolly but you can't get to it because it has to come in sideways and i know you're all going to go oh my goodness you're cutting up all through the flowers yeah i know you're going to have to with these you're going to have to get used to chopping okay because then that has to fit in sideways 
to be able to do this one okay so just just get used to the idea and then make sure you get all your bits out and it doesn't cause your jams and your punches okay if it's going to cause jams bring it out another way if in doubt cut it in half it's better to rip it and bring it out than to get it jammed okay so that's the umbrellas so you can get this umbrella you can get the umbrella the big umbrella and you can also if you wanted to punch out the um umbrella stick as well so that's the umbrella one so i just wanted to sort of show you how that all worked obviously you could also just use it as a background there's no reason why you can't just have that as a nice pretty background okay but if you want to get as many brollies out of it as you can and i don't know how many brollies there are there's a lot but if you want to get as many brollies out as you can you have to chop it up a bit for the tulips you have to chop it up as well okay it looks like you should just be able to go in and like chop but you can but you start taking off chunks of other tulips so i have this piece that i've been working on earlier um and you just need to decide whether you're okay to sacrifice a bit or if you want to just i mean this one's like half gone anyway right so we're going to cut up that one and then if you cut round these leaves you can come back to the leaves okay and then you can put in your tulip and then you can line your tulip up these are lovely papers i mean the colors are just lovely beautiful rainbowy bright and cheery cheer you up on a, on a gloomy winter's day there you go so you do that and then you can go back in and do your leaves you just need to make sure whether you can get in at the right angle so it's a little fiddly i'm just i'm just you know putting that out there it's it's not just punch and chop it's very difficult to print stuff on a random pattern that will fit into your um into your punches and still look good as a random pattern as it were if you know what i mean so they've tried to do their best for both worlds there we go so again just be careful you don't chop off too much and end up losing the top half of your stalk so like here this is too close this is probably going to lose that bit but you could always cut it out by hand if you wanted to but quite frankly you've got enough leaves and tulips here to last make a whole field of them so i don't think you're going to be short for tulips if you see what i mean because you get three pages right three 12 by 12s it's a lot of tulips and a lot of brollies and a lot of um little flowers but i think the little flowers are probably easiest to punch out because you've just got punch 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 in a little row so you could just cut cut along that row and then punch 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 so they will work my punch is arriving today so i will tell you how that goes but i thought i would show you those and show you my beautiful u card so that you can see what you could what you can do with them and obviously you can just use them as you would any other card you know so you can arrange you could have three tulips in a row with a maybe a pink one in the middle three tulips in a row and put some put some leaves behind them or in front of them maybe in front of them tulips generally have leaves in front don't they like so and i like that these leaves you can turn up and down the other way so if you wanted to you could have another leaf coming out this way um not that way this way but it's up to you well, personally i think they look better which way around do they look better this way and this way right yeah you can't really do it that way you can kind of do it like that that's about it so and then that one there so you could have tulips with leaves etc or you could have brollies three brollies in a row one two three like so it's quite nice um and then obviously you could put it in a card you can do this you can mix it with the stamps the whole point of it is that these papers are coordination papers hi lisa jane how are you um, so I will be doing some more cards with those. You will see some more videos with those. Um, but the idea is that they coordinate with the products that you already have. And I love the texture that you get on that on that paper. You know, really, the painting of it is really beautiful. So, yes, yeah, so they will coordinate with what you've got. And then you can extend or add to the life of what you're doing with your other products. So I really like the fact that this came out so well. I'm 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 glad it did. 
and I used Rococo Rose for the lady, soft sea foam for the floor and a little bit of crumb cake and some ivory for her legs because you can't leave her legs bare otherwise she looks like me. So, <laughs> so there you go, so that's the first card for today. Now we're going to talk a bit about kits because the kits are great but you might not know what they actually look like so we're going to make some up. So first of all, these two kits, this, this, this is your free kit. Hi Sheila, tulips are usually on a long stem with a long leaf. Yes, we have card makers license, we do, so we can mix and match stuff, exactly. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is the free stamp um, set that you get in celebration. This is called the Kerchief card kit. Not quite sure why it's called Kerchief, but hey, we'll run with it. So that's that. And then this is the all-inclusive three cheers for you. So it doesn't get a big ink pad. It gets a little spot, which I've taken out and saved somewhere. I always save my spots and then I give them as part of kits for people. So it um, comes with some twine. Have I shown you this kit before? It comes with a nice clear block. It comes with some gorgeous, gorgeous coppery, shiny things, sequins. Even comes with a sheet of dimensionals, which is good for me. Uh, and then it comes with all these elements. So we're going to make some of these up today. Because I haven't actually made it up yet, so it does need doing. It also comes with, where are we? Your very own glue dots sheet. And these are actually great. I'll show you how to use those because there's a little bit of a technique to them. Then, of course, it comes with your card bases and your beautiful envelopes. All of which have, of course pretty insides okay two designs oh no that's the same design where's the other one there we go two different designs and then all your card bases okay so we're going to make that up and then of course it comes with the stamp set let's not forget the stamp set bit and turn that over for a second so the stamps are thank you my heart can't stop smiling hooray for tiny miracles three cheers for you this lovely little border piece and birthday wishes all round now i like all of those apart from my heart can't stop smiling it's just a me thing a little bit too gushy for me but it also comes with this lovely box so once you've made the cards you put the um you put the cards in the box and you can give them as a gift or you can just put something else in the box and give the box as a gift so i like that very much so i've put all my stamps on blocks and i've brought my big ink pad down just because it's, it's i don't want to open an, an ink spot just for just for a demo there's quite a lot of stamps so i'm going to show you a trick with my heart. i'm going to make it up as it as it says it should be and then we'll play just just for that one i like all the other sentiments i think they're all great i just think that one's a little bit gushy for me i'm not sure that my heart would go on quite that much um <laughs> that might just be me uh yes maybe they are handkerchiefs actual as in actual handkerchiefs or kerchiefs or whatever they think of in the states um that's an entirely reasonable thing to suggest sheila and maybe they are i don't know we'll have to ask them okay so glue dots dimensionals sequins so i love the fact about the kit that you get all of the instructions basically and some tips okay and it tells you coordinating colors so if you're like me and you think i like the kit but i might want to take it a little bit do a little bit extra with it then you can always um you know switch stuff out so copper craft or in our case, i think crumb cake would work well knight of navy seaside spray and terracotta tile plus white um and then it's got some tips so on the three cheers card place the center craft piece first and the outside pieces after to ensure even placement very sensible i would do that um, and you can store the completed cards in the box or give it as a gift as i said so we've got stamp we've got linen thread adhesion um, and then we've got dimensionals and then sequins so this bit here tells you the steps and these bits here give you the photos okay and if you're very clever you can kind of turn this one over back this way so as you go apart from the last one you can see what the what it says to do for the steps whilst you're looking at those ones that's just how i do it so let's see what's the first one we're going to do the first one we're going to do is birthday wishes all around which is a fabulous fabulous stamp um saying so you need to grab the card base that looks like that 
So we look in here and we try and find a card base that looks like that. So it's not that one, 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 not that one. There it is. So there's our card base. And their card bases are, are getting better. They're not as thick as our card. You have to be, um, you have to understand that they're not the same um, thickness of our card stock. But they're not bad. And they're great for beginner crafters who want to just dip their toe into card making and see if they like it because it comes at a cheaper price point so it's good for that okay so we've got to tie a bow with some linen thread so we'll do that you know me I'm always up for tying a bow so you find your end I like the fact that it's coming on a reel and that it's not coming on a flat piece anymore because when it came on a flat piece it tended to have kinks in it you know and they weren't very good don't like kinky bits unless you want kinky bits but not on your not on your linen thread okay so we'll pull these ends just a little bit get ourselves a nice size it has to sort of go a whole well no it needs to be bigger than that it needs to be bigger than that pip and sometimes it tells you so here it says tie 12 inches so you get your ruler out or your grid paper and you go wow 12 inches okay so I need that much linen thread to tie this bow. We chop that off. Okay, so now I know that it's a big bow. Now I'm I normally do it off the reel, so you know me. <laughs> so that's why I never get my sizings right. Probably. Well, I do, but not like I wouldn't have used that much to tie this size bow. But there you go. That's it's a good size. It helps people to know that they've got the right amount. So that's a that's a large bow, but it's going to go on either side of the sentiment. So that's probably about right. I might center that a bit better. That's better. No, it's still off. What have I done? There we go. Oh, I've gone right off. I've gone round the other way now. See, I find it hard. I find it harder now that I've cut the piece of thread to actually get the same size things on both sides. There we go, that's a bit better. <laughs> there you go, Pip. Right, so that's going to go there. So we're going to attach that with our glue dots. Now, these leave on the sheet. Just lift the very top piece off, if you can. I'm being extra gentle and I don't need to be really. Just do that and then take the linen thread or whatever to the glue dot and then peel the whole thing off it's so much easier and they come off so much better so we're going to just whack that sort of on in the middle there ish and again it doesn't really matter where you're putting stuff as long as it's kind of in the right place okay so then that that's two is the linen thread i don't know what three is oh no okay we don't have a three on this on this card so four what does four say adhere using stamping dimensionals so the next bit would be to put the the flowery bits on so we have three but that's because we have one sorry one here one here and one here for this card okay so that's your so you know that you can use two out of one sheet okay does that make sense so one set is going to come from this one sheet which is always handy it means you don't get confused i like that and we're going to pop this one up here and this one down here now if you want to and i think it's probably a good idea at this point in time you can pop this one off and just see how it's going to fit so you can sort of realize that actually that needs to come up a little bit to get all the flowers in that one needs to come down and then once you know roughly where they're going to be then you can use your dimensionals and i love the fact that these are our actual dimensionals um the older kits used to have like harder versions of our dimensionals in that's the only way i can describe them they were just harder um and it didn't really tell you what our real dimensionals actually were like so i like the fact that this now tells you much better what these are like pop this down here this one's going to take the longest because i'm showing you what i'm talking through what i'm doing as i'm doing it whereas the next ones we can just whiz, ar whiz around, whiz around, whiz along. There we go. And this one, they say it comes out quite high. Mine comes out quite low. Maybe I'll put my 
So if I do that there, that's going to go across. Oh yeah, that's about right. Okay, so now we do the stamping. So this is when you need to, you just you take a breath, okay, because it's going to be stamped on the copper thing. It is a really pretty kit, Jan. Yes. So it's going to be stamped on here. I'm going to get my trusty mat because they're photopolymer. They do definitely, definitely stamp better with a mat underneath. So. Doing that. Take a deep breath and let it out. And then stamp. Always stamp on your out breath. It's a bit like Pilates, I've worked out. Stamp. <laughs> you do all your motions on your out breath, not your in breath. Um, and actually, it's better for you that way. So, there we go. So, that looks good. Very happy with that. Now, you could, of course, stamp all of them straight away. Do all your stamping all together, get it all done. Um, but obviously I'm just dem demonstrating this one, so I'm just going to do this one at a time. Now, the next thing is you need to work out where not to put dimensionals. So you don't need them on these corners because they're already like this is already dimensional dimensional up. So you need them just in this line across here. So turn it over and work out which line you're going on. Because I always forget once I turn things upside down and back to front and then just go straight across that line with your dimensionals and then you can pop it down safely and hopefully sort of straightish is that straight looks about straight yeah that looks better good so that's that and then you just need some bling and the bling comes in the form of these beautiful i mean i don't know i really don't know if you can catch the sparkle of those but the the actual copper itself is just so pretty um and they've just sprinkled around three of these one up here always in threes well, they've put somehow one down here i think i turned my flowers around the wrong way but it doesn't actually matter oh i've left my sticky bit behind that's because i'm using my fingers don't use your fingers pip use your pickup stick take your pick tool is what you need for this okay so go underneath, pick up the sticky bit, pop it down. Underneath, pick up the sticky bit and pop it down. There we go. So that's our first card. They're lovely. Really nice. Yeah, I think that's pretty. Sparkly. Nice. Okay, number one. Number two is... The one with the thank you on so i'll do the first one with the thank you on but then what i'll do is i'll just show you how i would change it being the rebel that i am i like the fact that this one's already got the bit printed that's quite clever so you don't have to worry about that so all you're doing here is we're putting a bit of swirly ribbon swirly linen linen thread so we'll do that first okay and again what does it say <gasps> no way 32 inches of thread wow that's a lot of thread 32 inches 81 centimeters okay so what's that that's two, that's two of them is 24 24 25 6 7 8 9 30 31 32 so two 12s and an 8 wow you that's that's a lot okay well we'll go with it because they've said that's the measurement so that's what we're going to do I would never have used that much thread maybe this is my maybe maybe using more is better and then you just wrap this round your hand like this hmm. yeah actually maybe i would have done to be fair and then you need it to sort of stay like that okay so the best way to do that is to pop a couple of glue dots down underneath or to add a glue dot directly to the bottom of your thread so again take the top Oops, no, take the top layer off. Well, there we go. And then stick, peel. Get that one down first. And if you put it on this blue bit here, you know that's going to be hidden. Yeah, just above there, that's going to be hidden. So that's your first piece. Well, maybe it needs to go along a bit. No, that was about right, I think. It's about right. And then you're kind of swirling it out. So the second piece will be sort of under here-ish. 
Now, if you want to put the glue dot on the card, again, you just take the first bit off, turn it over and stick the glue dot to your card and then peel away the, the surface of it. I, I really like these glue dots, I think they're great. There we go, something like that. And eventually it will, it will lay flat. It's not laying flat at the moment because obviously it's still bouncy, but it will lay flat and it will look lovely once we've got all the other bits on. Okay, so then we're gonna reach for our last blue piece on here. There we go. And then put that to one side, don't get rid of that yet. And then it looks like the big blue flower gets completely hidden underneath and it comes over like this yeah so follow the instruction pictures if you're not sure and we'll just do that so we'll pop on a couple of these like this and you get a hundred of these dimensionals in a sheet so you know you've got plenty so pop this down here hang that bit over pop that down there da -da -da. there we go i think that's right I think that is right like so or maybe i've gone a bit low if you think you've gone a bit low have we got the ability to unstick <gasps> have we have we yes we have look at that <gasps> fantastic oh don't do that oh, there we go because you know i like to try and do it exactly the way it is on the instructions just for the first one after that i tend to not bother and wing it but <laughs> so now we need to find our other layers here we go so here's our other strips and this one's going to be the thank you so pop this back in bring our ink back in what do you think so far folks good bad indifferent you like you don't like i mean i think the colors are just beautiful colors breathe in breathe out and stop Oh, I'm getting thumbs up. That's lovely. Good. All right. There we go. See? Works every time. Breathe in. Breathe out and stamp. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Then we're going to pop that down with some dimensionals. And yet again, we're just going to work out which ones we do or don't need. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. So nothing really sort of here up to about the U. So stick that there now you know me i'm going to go a bit wild with these we we might i might need to add more if i need to add more fine but that's because i'm being a bit ott with the dimensionals i just you know no saggy bottoms and if you're worried that this bit over here is loose you could always just stick a glue dot on it you know that's that's just peel one of these off and then stick a glue dot on there peel that off so now that's sticky so that when you stick it down, you can stick it to uh, this bit over here, like so. Oh, you're liking it, Lisa. I know. It is, it's really pretty. It's much better than it shows in the catalogue. I mean, it shows it quite well in the catalogue this time around, I think. Better than normal, but it, it, see, it is better in real life. Am I back? Oh, I'm back. Sorry. I've hit the wrong button and somebody, I actually answered it rather than switching it off. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I've just cut them off. They may ring again, in which case this time I will just cut them off. <laughs> there we go. So, away. Thank you. <laughs> somebody wants to get hold of me. Ah, oh, dear. Right. Where am I? Here we go. Okay. So now we're going to put some more sparklies on. I do like the way they're showing all the kits now you know you've got the this one that's all inclusive then you've got the one the medley which has got no instructions and just basically you let rip with whatever you want to do and then there's the um the one in between where you buy the stamp separate but you get a kit for the cards you know they all have their places and everybody likes different things and i like the fact that you can buy them all buy one buy two whatever oh helen and kat are watching hello nice to see you um happy lunchtime we're just doing the kit so i did a bit of coordination earlier you missed my matching umbrella girl i'll show her again at the end but um yes we've just come this is now two cards from the three cheers for you kit done quick and easy i like that okay next one 
this is the one where they have a tip for you so you need a plain base same both sides that's good get your plain base make sure you've got your leading edge yeah that's good and then you have three of these layers three of these layers where are they here not four three so you can take off three of these and it is very difficult to line them up if you start over here and try and get them uh, even yeah because you you it, it's hard to do that so what they recommend and i agree with them this is a very good recommendation is that actually you start with the middle one because it's much easier to line up the central one and kind of look at it eyeball it and go yeah that's about right and you could of course even put some grid paper down and do that now it suggests that we stick these down with what are we supposed to stick these down with three glue dots so we don't even need to add any multi-purpose glue so let's do it with glue dots i personally would pick out my multi-purpose glue and get going with that but let's do it as they say in the kit because that's how people will do it so when people come to me afterwards and say well oh, i've tried it like this and this that, and that i'd like to know what they're actually doing so i'm going to oops take this top one layer off and we're going to stick i think i'll do three because these glue dots are very sticky actually so i think they'll i think they'll stick all right with just three i wouldn't go too mad and then find my middle point roughly here-ish whoops here-ish what do we think central oh no a bit off hold on oh they are sticky i'm gonna have to do it sit i can't do it lying lying down looking downwards i have to do it looking like this i think i think that's better I think that's straight. There we go. Well, we shall see. Okay. If you get it on the wonk, make them all on the wonk, and then it doesn't matter. That's just a little tip from from somebody who knows. Okay. So do that. Do that. Do this. Okay. Like so. Right. And then see, it's much easier then to just work out how. I want these quite close by the looks of it. There we go. Like that. And then do another one on the other side. I might even have not even got them close enough. I think they'll be alright. You know, at the end of the day, it's your card. You can do whatever you like with it. But I do know that some of my customers like to follow exactly the kit instructions, at least for the first set. Then after that, we go a bit off-piste. That's fine. Probably learned that from me okay so then this one's going to come in equidistant over there okay like so that's straight yeah, could come out a bit but we'll eat we'll let that we'll let that go there we go right get rid of all those bits so next up we're going to do another bow so how long does it need for this one uh, 16 inches this one 40 centimeters wow Okay. I'm only doing it in inches because it's easier for me to read the numbers on where I am. 12, 14, 4 is 16, so there it goes. So this is another big bow. Put that over there. I think probably because it's got to go the whole width of the... Stop it, come back here. Okay, pull that bit in a bit, pull that bit in a bit. No, that's definitely not. You're moving it again, Pip. Get it central. And you can move it around to get it central. I'm just forgetting that I can do that. There we go. That's a bit better. So I think it has to go, yeah, it has to go sort of the whole width of the card. But maybe not that, maybe not quite so long as that like so and then have one bit going up that way and one bit going up that way so that's fine so we're going to pop this on with a glue dot there we go. Right. 
and then that's going straight in the middle there okay so then that sets you off sets you up with your with your nice bow going this way and that way okay right next up stamping and this is not that one this is this one now I do find it a little odd that we don't actually use the um, this beautiful um, chevrony diamond pattern on any of these. It basically, this pattern, I like this pattern, so I don't know why we don't use that. But it means that you've got something that you can use uh, on a card for decoration. You could make a lovely background pattern out of it, etc. So it does give you more options to then onward use. And I've just stuck my thumb in my ink. So... Let's try and clean that off before it gets everywhere. Jeans are great for dark blue ink. Um, right, here we go. Or, or aprons, either, either one of those works. So breathe in and breathe out. Actually, it makes you feel good too when you do that. Oh dear. There we go. See? Breathing helps <laughs> pip recommends breathing for stamping up <laughs> and for all card making always good right so let's pop some dimensionals all the way along here i'm just going to try and miss that middle section just slightly because that's where the knot is so you don't want to go across that and i like the value of this kit it's only 25 pounds and you get all of this stuff included so in the UK, I don't know what that is over there in Oz, Oz terms, but in the UK, I mean, 25 quid for a kit, all inclusive, including the stamps, the ink and the block. I think that's really good value. And, you know, for a new stamper, you don't need anything else, do you? This is it. You're done. Done, dusted. Get you started. Oh, these are annoying me. Um, and then and then you can kind of go from there, really. There we go. Let's make sure I've tried to avoid that little bit I think hopefully a little bit maybe is it look straight yes I'll do there we go this can come over here a little bit more come on um yeah that's it good uh so yeah so for new stampers I think it absolutely is good reminds me of work what breathing in and breathing out <laughs> and having to relax or I don't know what else I said, Hannah, Linda, that could be that. What did I say, Linda, that could be that? I'm assuming you're talking about the breathing in and breathing out, needing to do that just, just to get through the day at work, which is very true. I remember those days well. Um, thankfully, on my, on my post this morning, it came up with a memory for me. I love it when Facebook does that and gives you a nice thing to remember. Four years since I've been doing this full time as a job. Isn't that amazing? How, where did they go? Oh, taking x-rays. Yes, that's right. Breathe in, breathe out, hold. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, dear. And it always takes longer than you think. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and then you're like, can I breathe yet? <laughs> but yes, but no, four years doing this full time. That, that just amazes me every time I think about it. I think, wow, that's incredible, isn't it? Four years doing something I love, teaching people how to stamp and selling the fantastic products that we have of stamping up it just blows my mind it does because i think that's a great way of of uh, living at my age who <laughs> i never thought i would ever own my own business it never even crossed my mind you know it didn't it wasn't something we did when i was younger owning your own business was for people who were like really rich or um you know like i don't know who owned their i guess real entrepreneurs and stuff and, and i never really assumed that i would be one of those i didn't really count myself as one of those but um but there you go here i am running my own business and loving it so just goes to show anything's possible even for an old woman like me <laughs> she says but you know i started it when i was in my late 40s so um thanks lisa yes exactly linda retirement and whatever but you know i was in my late 40s and Everyone would have expected me to go on and do another job and this, that and the other. And I th and and Sean said, why don't you invest in yourself rather than in somebody else? And I was like, wow, OK, he's kind of telling me something there. So I did. And because of all of you lovely people 
here I am four years later still here. Long may it last, that's what I say. I want to do more of this, I like it, it's good fun. And talking of good fun, let's talk about retreats. So my spring retreat is nearly full. Um, so if you want to come along, now is the time to book because, yeah, we're filling fast. So, which is lovely, but it means, because I'm only holding one spring retreat this year, it does mean that it's, um, it's filling up a little faster than normal. So just... Just bear that in mind, if you're coming into some money at the end of January and you thought, actually, I'd like to go on the Pips retreat, now's the time to book. Okay, so now this time we're going to put the... Oh, we're still doing another bow. You don't have to do the bows, just saying. I mean, I like it with the bows, I think it looks good, and I don't mind doing bows, but I know there'll be some of my ladies out there going, really? Another bow? I don't... <laughs> you could just do a loop, you don't have to actually tie it in a bow. Because especially this one, this one is easy to cheat at because it's hidden. Everything's hidden behind. So if you really don't want to do it, you just you just literally do that. OK, so if you don't want to tie a bow, you want it to look like a bow underneath something. <laughs> then here we go. So down to your little finger, over your top finger, round your little finger and up and then get your ends to match with your loop. OK. So get these sort of ends to go like that and these ends to go like that. And if you hold that in the middle, that looks like a bow, doesn't it? So then you just put a glue dot in the middle and you're good to go. So, so if you don't like tying bows, there's my little trick. Do a loop instead and stick it with a glue dot. Nobody will know the difference. Not when it's behind something. I mean, obviously, if it's on top of something, then people would notice and think that you've cheated but if you're just doing it like this who's gonna know it's gonna go behind everything so that's cool right so that's that so now we put the hooray for tiny miracles down first so what's that one that's a different one again here we go so that's this one i'm all for easy easy stamping i said to somebody i said oh that's a lovely card i'd like to case that and they said, is ever so simple? And I said, that's okay. Simple stamping, that's me. <laughs> I only do simple. Well, occasionally I do complicated, but mainly I do simple. So this one says, hooray for tiny miracles. But if you look at the picture, the flower goes over the edge of this. So just sort of here-ish. Leave a little bit of white here. Breathe in and out. And down. And it's raining again. Oh, January, when are you going to stop? And we're going to have some nice crisp days. There we go. Very, very happy with my breathing technique today. Um, <laughs> OK, so then we're going to do this. Nearly lost my dimensionals. Now, this one we can go all the way along because the flowers are going to go on top. So... I may have over I may have done one extra there than I probably should have done, but you know me. Good. Right, here we go. And then this goes so you're leaving a little bit of the blue edging behind underneath. Because there's no point having that pattern there if you're not going to see it. So that goes across like that. And then this, I mean really, does it need stamping dimensionals? Most of it's going to be maybe one behind the leaves and then I would put um, glue dots on the other parts of it and stick it to the sentiment banner so pop one there and then one here there we go. take that off and then position that Sort of like that, I think. There we go. Pretty. Oh, and then pretties. Pretties, pretties, pretties. Mustn't forget the pretties. Because right. these really do lift them. You know, they these really do add that touch of lushness, which is now a word, obviously. Um, but it, they really do. Just the copper lifts it and adds, you know, it matches the copper on the banners. And then just add some extra bit sparkle. 
so there we go that is that's that's it that's all four done now it does have it does have some decoration on the box but i'm not quite sure how you would get the decoration on the box if you did all of the cards so i'm just going to double check okay so these ones we must we must have a spare one because these these little banners here are extra they don't go on any of the cards but they do go on the little box so do we have an extra set of these ones one two two three four no okay so you must decide whether you want to do the flowers on one of your cards or whether you want to do the box that must be a choice thing because i don't think there's enough to do the box per se but you could add other flowers do you know what i mean you don't have to necessarily use the ones specifically in the kit or you might decide that actually this one you just put hooray for tiny miracle miracles and not put the flowers on and then you've got enough for the for the cover as well so it's up to you but i like the fact it's got these little banner pieces so you could at least put um you know a for you or sign your name or something like that to put them on but there you go so let's have a look what have we got here we've got this one this one and then these two that we did earlier they're pretty aren't they and then they all have their own coordinating envelopes so we'd probably put that one with that one i reckon i reckon and then probably with this one as well maybe the two darker ones with the two thingies i don't know i'm just making it up you can do whatever you like it probably tells us in the thing and then maybe the lighter one with that one and the lighter one with that one or you could go the other way around and do the oh maybe you could do ah here we go i think this is the way you're just supposed to do it so this one's got the pattern on the envelope and the pattern on the card and again envelope and card and then this one's got the pattern pattern color color do you know what i mean although that's got the other ones i don't know make up as you go along <laughs> it's entirely up to you i was on a roll then i thought i'd got it but no um but it doesn't matter does it it's entirely up to you which way around you do it so but i think they're great cards um i will show you now how to do that taking off of that my heart can't stop smiling job okay because i wouldn't say that it's just not me i would say thank you and then in dot 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 and then inside i would say for everything that you've done or whatever it is was that you want to say thank you for placing an order or whatever so if you want to hide those it's very simple you just need to get some washi tape from us from me should i say and i've got stacks of washi tape um i bought up loads you can get it on clearance if need be or you can buy the ones you really like and use them for cards and what you're going to do is you're just going to stick this over the bits you don't want inked up okay is this the right size washi tape yeah i think so i'll be all right okay so you stick that down there like that before you ink up your stamp okay don't do it after you've inked up your stamp and you might need to just tuck it in so it doesn't touch the other letters the idea is that this is covering up the stamp okay now this one i'm gonna to have to move down a bit because i'm not quite covering it all up move that down a smidge that's better i think there we go make sure none of it is stuck to the stamp you do want to show okay then you ink it up fully like so and before you do your breathing you then peel off that bit now this is probably going to still show because i didn't clean it beforehand so actually i'm going to do this on a scrap piece of card because i should have cleaned it before i did the re-inking otherwise it's going to it will leave a ghost impression because i didn't clean off the old ink did i no so here's a scrap i'll just show you so now you can go <gasps> breathe in 
breathe out and you'll only have the bit you want but obviously I've still got the old bit because I didn't actually but it's just a ghost because I didn't actually clean my stamp in between I should have cleaned my stamp off in between but if you do clean your stamp off in between then it works perfectly and then you just get left with that gorgeous thank you which I think is beautiful beautiful writing it uses a little bit of washi tape but that's it it's fabulous um so yeah thank you my heart can't stop smiling or just thank you birthday wishes all round three cheers for you and hooray for tiny miracles so it's now i've oh, been going on for nearly an hour okay so i was going to do the other kit but i might save the other kit for another day but i will show you them again now these are different okay so i, I just wanted to show you these because if you get them thinking that they are a stamping kit you might be disappointed these as i say they're free with a 45 pound order through celebration it's called the kerchief um chief card kit and so you can you could buy this set you could buy two of these kits and you could get this kit for free or you could buy both the kits that are on that are available and get the this kit for free i know somebody who is a kit lover who's done exactly that um except she went for papers actually not for this kit but i just because she didn't she's she's more of a purpley girl so the lily pad papers just attracted her like a magpie um but this kit is all pre-done for you so there's absolutely no stamping involved whatsoever okay so for a stamper you might not like that but i tell you you could do this with a with um, a grandchild you could do it with um completely new starter card makers you could do it on a train you know when you don't want to have to take any ink or anything that you're um having to clean etc and it comes again with everything proper dimensionals glue dots twine more twine uh, all your bits and pieces and there are a lot of bits and pieces in this kit again beautifully decorated inside and out now uh, these are all the blue ones yeah blue ones where are the other ones pink ones so pretty you've got leaves you've got thing um sentiments in all languages so celebrate today thinking of you but you've also got all the different languages but the reason why i like this is because then you can pop them off and if you wanted to you could turn them over and add your own sentiment so if you wanted to you can use these as sentiment elements on other cards you come you get these vellum pieces but the great thing is that if you use the glue dots on the center piece center or wherever it's not going to be shown especially on this one you just pop it behind the the gold dots you can't see them which is good you you get the beautiful flowers and the blue navy circ um, ovals behind them and you get masses and masses and masses of these leaves and gold bits and i was like what well, you use all of those and then of course you get your card bases oh more gold i told you there was a lot um in two gorgeous colors poppy parade and coastal cabana uh, and I like this because it's got a bit of balmy blue in it. It's got Knight of Navy in it. It's just really a bit of um, pool party as well, I think, and white. It's just gorgeous. Um, and this one's got, I think, Knight of Navy. But on the Poppy Parade, obviously, it looks more brown, like an early espresso. A bit of petal pink and uh, Calypso, maybe a light or maybe a dark blushing bride, something like that. Really nice. And you use all of these gold bits. So this has got two leaves and a central small flowery leaf bit plus the thing the the oval the flower the twine this and this gorgeous gold centerpiece piece so that's lovely and then here you use even more of this beautiful blingy stuff and then a vellum centerpiece like that it's just they're just really pretty cards and with the envelopes as well i think it's a great it's a great freebie definitely so i just but i wanted to let you know that there's no stamping so that's that might be the bit that puts you off this kit if you are an avid stamper and that's fair enough but if you want to give it to a, a friend or a granddaughter or a grandson or anybody that you might want to you know try and do a bit of stamping with then it's a good kit for that i would say because as I said, it's all included, including all the glues and everything. So you don't have to take anything apart from this kit. So those are the two kits that I wanted to talk about today. 
you can buy them you can buy the the other kit on my store so all the details for that are below or will be as soon as i get off of here and load them all up um and yeah i will be doing some um different things with these kits over the coming months uh, because i've already got uh, things planned showing some different ideas that you can do with these kits so stay tuned because you know it doesn't just end here <laughs> uh, we do more with these okay I, there's there's loads of stuff you can do with these kits uh, and the stamp set of course will last you um i'm going to say forever but pretty much forever you know you'll have it to to use onwards um after you bought it so there you go i hope that has lifted your moody monday because it's really moody here it's raining and miserable even the crows look miserable today so i hope that that has cheered you they need to come watch my stamping <laughs> that would that cheer them up so i hope it's cheered up your moody monday have a lovely week i will see you again next week although i might be a bit bleary eyed next week because although I mean, it's quite glad, quite good that it's half past 12 because Sean's off next week because it's Super Bowl Sunday. Yay! So um, many of you know that we like watching American football. And so we will be up until the early hours of the morning watching American football next Sunday night. So bear with me if my brain's not quite in gear on Monday mor Monday lunchtime. We'll probably only have just about got up. So, <laughs> But anyway, have a great week until then. Oh, and if... The good news is, hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be at Creative, uh, Create It, rather. Um, oh, no, Lisa, you need our rain. You need our rain. Let's send our rain to you. You don't need any more hot weather. That's not good. Um, but, yes, finally, we. I will be at Create It. Um, I'm just about to press the button and book my spot. Uh, I'll be there along with the lovely Sarah Sayers and Fiona Witten. And I've decided to run classes as well. <laughs> so um yeah so we will be doing classes um my gorgeous teamies will be helping me out with the classes because obviously i can't be in two places at once uh but if you want to come along if you've never stamped with me before uh come along stamp with us we'll have make and takes on the stand and we'll be i'll be running classes too so i will as soon as it's all official and everything i'll put all the details out but i just wanted to give you a heads up that it looks like i will be there so yay can't wait Alrighty. so have a great week everybody and i will see you next week thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it and this is me queen pip from queen pip cards signing off for another week cheers bye